Welcome to the Week 14 Mountain West Conference regular season finale as the San Jose State Spartans come into Laramie on Senior Day to take on the Wyoming Cowboys, who are trying to earn a spot into the Mountain West Conference championship game next weekend. The Cowboys are ranked 12th in the nation and are 9-2 overall and 6-1 in conference play after last week's 31-24 victory over the San Diego State Aztecs. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into the last game of the regular season. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The current Heisman Trophy watch. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 14 Mountain West Conference regular season finale as the 4-7 and seven San Jose State Spartans come into Laramie to take on the 9-2 Wyoming Cowboys on Senior Day. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the San Jose State Spartans, taking on the winners of five straight, the Wyoming Cowboys. And the Spartans will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Wyoming Cowboys offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. And he's brought down after a nice game. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Might as well give it to him again. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Finds his tight end. Still on his feet at the 45. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll be honest, that is a formation and a play call I was never expecting to see in this game. This offense is one of the top ten passing units in the entire country. I'm surprised they even have goal line in their playbook. What are we doing? On second down, they'll take to the air. Throws to the wideout. Got his man all by himself. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Cowboys will have it first and 10. From the gun, give on the inside. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. The Cowboys will move the sticks. Now down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Merritt. 
That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He leaves it with the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He'll throw on third down. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the San Jose State Spartans offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got an open man. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking for a man. It's Butterfield. Finds a man in the middle. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Huge play in the red zone. Third and goal coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. Oh, the attempt is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. That last drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Here's the handoff. <laughs> Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Fires to the big fella. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. 
I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. And the Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. The Cowboys are marching down the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. On second down, looking again to throw. Got his man downfield. And a good pickup to move the chains, and the clock will expire, and that's how they'll be set up to start the second quarter. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll leave it with him. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. He wants it all. Couldn't quite hang on to that one, and this red zone defense came that close to forcing a turnover. Third down coming up. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming! Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything's going in the other direction, so how are you going to respond We've been hitting the mouth early in this football game. Got to find something positive quick. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. From the gun, running back gets to give. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. The Spartans headed quickly to the line.
He's looking for a man on second down. Complete to the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. Give to the single back. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back on the move. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After the run, second and medium. Power football with the run. Powers through the defender. Oh, and what a move. What a juke. And he makes it past the marker. And the Spartans getting set on first and ten. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller. When you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing them. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. He looks that one in nicely. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They'll give it on the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Remember, they missed a field goal on their last drive, but at the very least, they need to get back in field goal range here on third down. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. It's fourth and 15, but the offense will stay on the field. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And the pass is incomplete on fourth down, but hold on just a second. Also, We've got to defense. see what the flag's about. And this is what's going to drive coaches crazy. It's mental errors, right? It doesn't take any talent or lack of talent to have that penalty. You just got to watch the ball, and when it's snapped, get after the quarterback. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Guys, the missed field goal, and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. The Cowboy offense on its way out. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that up to touchdown. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. Uh, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Yeah, that is a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. we got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think a little bit. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Pulls it in. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. And they'll mark him at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The inside handoff. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Running back searching for a hole. 
One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Shotgun snap on third down. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the connection on third down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter. David, I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some oh, oh, they got to establish something. And you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Gets him away from trouble. That's a pickup of six. Mark it at the 10. Second down and six from their own 10. Running behind that left side. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. They feed him again. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. The run from the shotgun. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. After the misconnection, it's second down. To the air, it's Butterfield. Catch open down the middle. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got his man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Spartans decide to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Gets the first one of the day out of there, and we saw a lot of him in that loss last week, four times to be exact. He's brought down, but a real yardage he could on the punt return. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. The offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Empty backfield, five wide receivers on second and six. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Stevenson. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You gotta give the old line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him, he's able to turn it up and get a first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He's going to pass. Unloads to the right. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play.
the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. On the move, it's Scott. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. San Jose State has the ball and ready to go on the attack. Boy, they've been caught in a buzz zone. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This is not gonna get any easier. You're already down, you know it's passing situation. Man, you gotta protect your quarterback and they can't do it. This has not been a great day early for this offense. Running out of time here in the first half, they're gonna have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that... Let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. The Cowboys will kick it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Able to find enough.
Jose State offense is back on the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too third down and this offense is already in a world of trouble they could really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores oh, picked off and they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception great job by the freshman kept his eyes in the right place and made the play i love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively if they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very safe. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. He's right on target. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. It'll be a run on third and short. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, no real mystery there. And I think this coaching staff has a lot of confidence in their offensive line to get the push needed to give that back just a big enough crease to fall forward and get the first. And it's so hard. My room for error is so small when I'm a defensive line. Like, I got to get off the ball as fast as I can and, and try to get some form of penetration. Just stop that ball from going north-south. They don't do it there, and they give up the first down. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. Ball off. And that's up for grabs. And it's intercepted. He goes out of bounds. But what a play to create a sudden change opportunity. You know, you got to be careful when you're throwing against this cornerback on the perimeter of the field because he has unbelievable short area quickness, and he can break on the pass immediately, and you saw it right there on that interception. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. The gift to the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They'll run it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Illegal block. Illegal block. Illegal block. Illegal block. Illegal block. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Wide out in motion. Give to the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. 
looking to throw it's Butterfield complete to the right and they'll do more than move the chains they'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped they'll try the right side They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. And that pass picked off. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. Got it in the middle, it's Merritt. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Yeah, and in third and short, it's a great place to be for an offense. You got the whole playbook available, and they choose to pass, and the defense did a really good job playing the pass, and fourth down now, it's decision time for you. Just needs a crack to get a return. The solid return defense nicely. San Jose State has the ball and ready to go on the attack. That last drive was a punch in the gut, throwing the pick in the red zone, Jesse. Yeah, and it just seemed like there was some miscommunication down there in the red zone. David, this drive, the QB and receivers just have to do a better job being on the same page. Yeah, and I think you pulled the positives, right? We moved the football down the field. We had a chance to score, but we can't let those opportunities slip between our hands. Let's go get some points. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Grab near the marker is Coleman. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. And the Spartans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw. It's Butterfield. He makes the connection. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. The Spartans have their offense in high gear. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Snagged in the middle. It's Gardner. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Looking to throw it again. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll give it to the back. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he drops the throw. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Spartan. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game one. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some... Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms and all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Got this third down play to open the quarter. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. On the ground, it's Scott. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. They'll try the run. Shakes off the defender. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure right now on this down if you're on offense because your last two plays have gone nowhere. You know the defense just needs to get the football back to give their team an opportunity to go win the game. So you're probably going to have to throw to get this first down. A lot of pressure here on the quarterback, Dave. Yeah, and, and how I throw, I think, is important. This is a time where I love moving my quarterback outside the pocket, making it an easy throw or let him run the football. And he breaks into the open. And finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. And the Cowboys are rolling down the field. They'll run it on first and goal. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Looking for the score. This will be picked off. Maybe just the top. 
turning point they needed. Look, big-time playmakers make big plays in big games, and that guy needed to make that interception at this critical juncture of the game. The San Jose State offense is back on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. He's out of bounds after a big pickup, but there's a flag on the field, and this might be coming back. On first down, here comes this offense. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. Fires to the middle. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Dealing with a second and 10 from the 20. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Coleman. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now on third and 10, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And the Spartans will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. Coverage team able to put a stop. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. For this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. The Cowboys are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun, the running back has it. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for space. It's Scott. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. It's complete to the left. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Cowboys look to keep this drive humming. On the move. Runs through a tackle. Well, I don't know what the quarterback saw in that last play, but he made a pretty quick decision that he was just going to tuck it and run it, and his offensive coordinator is glad he did. How about the speed by the QB on that play? Go, 
They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Tackled after picking up the first down. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. give to the running back and that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three and this is a perfect situation this is a situation if you asked me to be in before the game the coaches would have been in heaven I got the football I got the lead on their side of the field nice gain on first down same exact script do it again run the football run the clock let that thing tick down and if we add points we add points Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. They'll line up for a second down play. The give to the tailback. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The Cowboys trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Trying to pound their way in. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. You know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. Dropping back, it's Butterfield. 
Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. On second down, just keeps firing. Quickly to the tight end. They'll get him down at the 48 after the 15-yard gain. The Spartans will hustle to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wide out. Wide open downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They keep attacking through the air. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. Second down now after the sack. Quickly gets everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Listen, you hear all the time about how important it is to stay on schedule offensively, right? And this is a perfect example. You just can't have negative plays early in drives because even... Going for it all. And it's in complete the Drives, and sometimes you even try to get young guys in the game at this point. But now you're just fighting for pride and just letting them try not to get any more points on the scoreboard. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and parents for dinner, right? What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week, the Wyoming Cowboys will be taking on the UNLV Rebels in the Mountain West Conference Championship game in Laramie.